Okay, so this is an RKI Eagle 2, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I've calibrated it, and what it's showing, this is a sample from the uh, surface, of zero meters, and what it's showing is zero parts per million, so that's telling us that there's zero parts per million uh, hexane on the surface, so, which is good. And uh, we use it as a screening tool, essentially, just to see, you know, at what level of contamination there is, see if there's something there, and then it helps us uh, Determine which samples we can submit to the lab. I'll take a sample at the bottom and a sample at the top. Okay, good. It's usually with a, I just wipe the trials down, grab the soil off the auger, bring it back, and then uh, we collect sample in bags. And uh, those samples in bags will be used for certain analyses. And then other ones we we uh, pack into jars. And there'll be a the jar samples will be analyzed for other parameters such as BTEX, and um, uh, we just pack them in as tight as we can. We leave no headspace, and you know we just seal them up. And then uh, once we're done the project, I'll count all the jars and make sure we have everything. We've sampled everything, write it on a chain of custody or a COC, and then we just drive back to Edmonton, submit it to our lab, and uh, wait for analyses, and then go from there tabulate it, analyze it, and then write the report. Okay, well this is a sample from about 5.25 5 meters down. It's glacial till. It's uh, already gray, so we're into the unoxidized zone. Uh, no evidence of iron staining, few pebbles. Uh, we're going down to 6 meters, but uh, ideally this is a well install, so we'd like to have um, a little bit of water in the hole. We'd like to end the hole about one meter below whatever water table we reach, so uh, the drillers are currently going deeper. And uh, we'll go as deep as we need to to find that. Uh, it's probably till underneath, so till will yield water, it just takes more time for the well to recharge. So once we install the wells, we'll come back in a few weeks and then uh, check on the water levels, and then uh, if they're good, we'll Actually, uh, part of the program is to grab water samples, part of the phase two assessment. So we collect soil samples for various parameters, and then we also collect water uh, water samples to see if there's any parameters in the aqueous phase. So. Yeah, we have our, our screen from 30 feet to 20 feet. We want your sand to come up a foot above your screen, so 19 feet. And then you use the bentonite uh, hole plug for the rest of the way. And I always pour a little down here. For, especially for water samples, we'll, once we've collected them, we'll put them into coolers and then end of day, uh, we'll, if we're out in the field for numerous days, we'll go to the hotel and put ice on them or we'll, uh, once we get back to the lab in Edmonton, if it's a day trip, we'll go into our warehouse, we have uh, ice packs and we'll either put them in the coolers or we also have fridges and we'll store the water samples in there as well. Same with the soil samples. You know, we, try to keep the samples cool 
and then because samples have a certain holding time, and uh, for example, for say petroleum hydrocarbons, we once we take it out of the grounds, jar them, bag them, we like to get them cool as quick as possible, and then to the lab as quick as possible for analysis, because uh, because of those certain holding times. But you know, there's also bacteria that can eat away at the hydrocarbons, like they degrade them. That's an example. So it's just we like to get them to the sample and analyze as quick as possible. And with the soil, like for instance, we're uh, at seven and a half meters. That's the sample I'm jarring right now. Uh, when putting the soil into bags and uh, jars, I like to homogenize it a little bit just to make it more as representative as possible. So I just break chunks off, mix it up as much as I can. So when, when the lab techs take a sample, it's more representative. Because I could totally take a sample from the top of the jar versus the bottom and we could, with certain parameters, we could get a different, could be a different concentration or reading, right, so.